Hi, and welcome back to BCBAMockExam.com. In this video, we will be delving into Section B8 of the 5th edition of the BCBA Task List, which focuses on defining and providing examples of unconditioned, conditioned, and generalized reinforcers and punishers. Subscribe to our channel so that you can receive free learning materials from us to further assist you in preparing for the exam. Let's define unconditioned reinforcer, conditioned reinforcer, and generalized reinforcer. An unconditioned reinforcer refers to inherent and naturally occurring sources of reinforcement. For example, Food serves as an unconditioned reinforcer as it inherently reinforces behaviors by satisfying hunger. A conditioned reinforcer, on the other hand, involves previously neutral stimuli that have acquired reinforcing properties through association with the reinforcer. Verbal praise can become a conditioned reinforcer when it is repeatedly paired with other reinforcing stimuli, leading to positive responses. Lastly, a generalized reinforcer is a stimulus that has gained the ability to reinforce various behaviors under different circumstances due to repeated pairings with other reinforcers. Money is an example of a generalized reinforcer, as it can reinforce a wide range of behaviors in diverse situations, having been associated with various other reinforcing outcomes. Understanding these types of reinforcers helps in comprehending the mechanisms underlying behavior and the factors that influence its occurrence. Then, let's define unconditioned punisher, conditioned punisher, and generalized punisher. An unconditioned punisher refers to an inherent and naturally punishing stimulus. It is something that inherently causes discomfort or pain, such as physical pain, which serves as an unconditioned punisher. On the other hand, a conditioned punisher involves previously neutral stimuli that have acquired the ability to punish due to their association with actual punishers. For instance, if a person repeatedly hears the word angry while experiencing a punishing situation, the word itself can become a conditioned punisher that elicits a negative response. Lastly, a generalized punisher is a stimulus that has acquired punishing effects through multiple associations with various punishers. For example, verbal commands like no or don't do that can become generalized punishers when they are frequently associated with different punishing situations, leading to aversive responses even in novel contexts. Understanding these types of punishers and their associations helps in comprehending the dynamics of behavioral responses and their underlying mechanisms. To sum up, unconditioned reinforcer refers to inherent and naturally occurring reinforcement. Unconditioned punisher is inherent and naturally punishing stimulus. Conditioned reinforcer refers that previously neutral stimuli that have become a reinforcer through association with a reinforcer. Conditioned punisher refers that previously neutral stimuli that have become a punisher due to pairing with punishers. Generalized reinforcer is a stimulus that repeated pairings with other reinforcers under various situations which can reinforce many behaviors. Generalized punisher is a stimulus that exerts a punishing effect because it has been associated with punishing stimuli. That's all for today's video. See you next time. Visit our website for study guide and exam practice and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn for free exam questions and discount coupons.